what I really wanted you to know is that there's career path. In Charlotte, there's probably about 65,000 folks working, 65 to 70,000 folks working in the, uh, in the business and finance realm here in the region. This is Banktown and we're one of the biggest hubs for banking here in the region. So you don't need to leave your, your region to go find a better job. They're all here. And uh, there's a lot of senior folks that will be aging out and there'll be opportunities for folks in the coming years. I would challenge each of you to be curious, whether it's curious about your clients, curious about your career objectives. I would say even now at, uh, at the age that you are, eighth, ninth grade, um, be curious about what your parents do. Ask them what they do, what they like about it, what they don't like about it. Ask your friends' parents what they do and what they like about it and don't like about it. And just think about what those things sound interesting to you. Be willing to explore those and be naturally curious. Learn about yourself, the things that you like. Um, take the free uh, resources that are available to you, like 16 personalities which is a Myers-Briggs based test, um, Enneagram testing, Strengths Finder. Find all those free resources that are available to you and learn and be curious about yourself and what you like to do and what you might like to do for a career. What is it you wanna do? Um, you know, just try to look at what are your strongest skill sets? What do you, what is of interest to you? And then with all the information at your fingertips, reach out to professionals in that in that um, space most professionals would be happy to talk to you that's something that's very um, accessible to uh, the generation that you're in which is wonderful uh, because most people they want to talk about what they do and how they do it and their career path it's not always traditional it's not always something they knew right away in college but it has evolved over the years. I work with people who were economics majors, um, <laughs> you know, uh, all kind of majors that uh, were not in banking. When we talk to a lot of folks that are looking to get into the banking industry, very inexperienced or kids coming out of college, kids coming out of high school. And there's a couple things that I think are important that you should understand. One is all of them are rock stars. They're all great in their own way, and a lot of them have 4.0s or 3.8s. They're, they're all doing really well. The important part is their character and how their interpersonal skills work with you. I could teach you to be a great banker, but I can't teach you to have those interpersonal skills. And what do I mean by that? When you walk in a room, I challenge you to go home tonight and talk to whoever your family member is and try to shake their hand, make eye contact with them. It might blow their mind. You've probably never done that. And that's something you should try to do. I think when you walk in a room that people want to understand who you are and that's a greeting, that's not gone. It, maybe right now, maybe it's a fist bump, but it's some sign of respect. You know, talking, being prepared when you talk to a bank or you're talking on an interview process, these are just life skills. Check out the internet. You could find out a lot when you Google somebody and, and Google a business and try to understand what they're doing. I think that is really important that you come prepared for that meeting. A few other things are that you, you sort of look at it and, and uh, make sure you're sending, whether it be a thank you email or a thank you letter, probably 1% of the population sends thank you notes out anymore. And that is it. That is huge. When I'm looking at it, if it's it's this person or that person, the person that probably sent me a thank you letter or a thank you email probably gets the job. So those are some intangibles that you need to know in the market. You got to study hard if you want to get in a role like mine. I, I've been doing this a long time, so there's only so many of these roles. But that being said, if you want to get into some of this, you need to have some math skills. You need to have your interpersonal skills like we talked about. You can have, you can get into this banking uh, role starting in the retail without a college degree and then we'll help you. Most banks will help you get in and put you through college, help you go where you're going. There's internships that uh, we are currently uh, working with folks from Belmont Abbey and we're, we have an intern starting today, uh, a business major, but someone that really wants to get some experience in banking. And that, that's our future. We've, we are happy to help people, happy to do things like this and excited to see where you want to go. We can, you can go wherever you want to go. So you're not going to know everything you want need to know about banking today, but no, continue working hard, continue being involved, understand how you fit into the bigger world and that'll, that'll carry you a long way.
thank you for the opportunity today and so excited for you, your career path, and Gaston County. Thank you. Thank you.